first glance, they seemed utterly unremarkable. And it took meticulous analysis and a bit of detective work for archaeologists to realize that these fragments were actually part of a single rune stone that was broken up and dispersed intentionally. Hold on. For those of us who need a refresher, mm -hmm. what exactly are runes? I mean, we're talking about them like they're a big deal, right? right? What's the significance? So runes are an ancient writing system that were used for Germanic languages long before the Latin alphabet we use today became the standard. Oh. So think of them as like the ancestors of our modern alphabet. E H. A key to understanding how our ancestors communicated. Okay, that makes sense. So back to these fragments. How did they piece them together? Was it like high-tech lab analysis or more like... You know, mm -hmm. Indiana Jones matching up markings and breaks? Well, it was a bit of both, actually. <laughs> okay. Archaeologists carefully examined the markings and the breaks on each fragment like a giant jigsaw puzzle. But they also used radiocarbon dating, which is like having a oh, time wow. machine. Oh, wow. Allowing us to pinpoint when these runes were carved and helping us trace the evolution of this writing system. And what system. did this time machine reveal about the age of these fragments? 